overclockers, my name's Bryony and welcome back to another episode of BIOS Update. It's been a crazy couple of weeks with huge new hardware launches and all of this week's stories will be in the overclockers blog so make sure to go and check that out and now let's get into it. Kicking off the gaming chapter of BIOS Update is the announcement that Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales is coming to PC on the 18th of November. The brand new trailer shows off exciting PC features with many enhancements, customizable settings and support for a large range of hardware configurations. The game is fully optimised for ultra-wide gaming and it does support ultra-wide cinematic cutscenes. There's beautiful ray trace reflections with newly added ray trace shadows and NVIDIA DLSS 3 for high-end PCs. Meanwhile, settings like texture quality, crowd and traffic density, field of view and resolution do allow you to play the game on a GTX 950, i3 processor or portable PC like the Steam Deck. The recommended specifications to max out the graphical settings include an RTX 3080 or Radeon RX 6950 XT paired with an Intel Core i7 12700K or Ryzen 9 5900X and a whopping 32GB of memory, half the size of the 75GB game download. If you play with the PlayStation DualSense controller, you will still get support for the immersive haptic feedback and dynamic trigger effects, which feel super satisfying. There's also the option to play with a mouse and keyboard. You can pre-purchase the game now on both Steam and in the Epic Game Store for $39.99, and if you order ahead of the game's launch, you do get some cool in-game bonuses. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Miles Morales coming to PC. The next gaming story this week is that Fallout has just celebrated its 25th anniversary. Yes, for 25 years, we've been able to explore the retro-futuristic and post-apocalyptic nuclear wasteland. To celebrate, Bethesda has finally released new content for Fallout Shelter, with new dwellers, weapons and gear to take on an all-new quest. There's also a mega mix of Fallout's radio classics on Spotify to help get you in the mood and a dedicated website at fallout25.com which will keep you up to date with what's happening over the month. You can expect special streams, exclusive interviews and even some exciting giveaways and freebies. Additionally, if you want to celebrate by upgrading your own vault dwelling setup, Bethesda and Noble Chairs have teamed up once again to bring us not just a really cool looking special edition gaming chair, but also some Fallout themed pillow sets too. The PU leather is vividly coloured in blue and purple with Nuka-Cola quantum designs across the front of the backrest and the back features a Nuka-Cola quantum bottle with crazy cool glow-in-the-dark stitching. The matching pillow sets are a great way to upgrade your existing gaming chair and you can choose from Quantum Cola, Vault Boy or Brotherhood of Steel editions, all with an officially licensed design soft to the touch with a fabric cover and memory foam padding for extra comfort. All of them are available at Overclockers UK and you can pre-order them right now. I'll put a link in the description below. Kicking off the hardware chapter is of course this week's huge new launch, the NVIDIA RTX 4090. We did actually have a good supply of stock, but this powerful new GPU proved to be super popular and we have completely sold out in the first hour. I'll be honest, despite the high cost, it's easy to understand why, as the performance is incredible. Ian Aikpak Parry has made a dedicated video with loads of benchmarks and overclocking tests, but essentially it does have double the performance of an RTX 3090, which I think is crazy. If you fancy a more relaxed video and just want to check out all the different models, I also unboxed 12 different options on camera and weighed them, measured them and just sort of compared them 
and I must say that the Supreme X is my current favourite with a beautifully shiny cooler. I've loved watching all the super in-depth reviews and comparing the different benchmarks and I cannot wait to see the more mainstream performance from the RTX 4080 when it does finally launch. If you didn't unfortunately manage to get your hands on the RTX 4094 launch day, do keep an eye on the Overclockers website as we won't be taking pre-orders but we will be adding more cards as they become available. I'm going to drop a link below to our two RTX 4090 videos and also a link to the product page. Next in the hardware news, you will likely need something to power those new GPUs and ATX 3.0 power supplies are the next generation of PSUs for high-end PC hardware. ATX 3.0 has been specifically designed to work with GPUs that use the new 12 pin plus 4 pin PCIe 5.0 12 volt power connector to deliver maximum performance. Benefits include quicker system wake up and power on times, improved efficiency and reduced power consumption, and this is thanks to the alternative low power mode. These PSUs are also able to deal with really big power spikes where a GPU will suddenly require a large amount of power during demanding scenes in games for a very short period. Most of the high quality power supplies on the market from reputable manufacturers will actually handle these power spikes just fine, but there's also many that won't and your PC might suddenly shut down. I also think that there is a huge aesthetic benefit to these power supplies because you don't have to use the rather ugly adapter. It does look a bit like Medusa with one cable and four coming off, and that's gonna be sat right in the middle of your PC, cluttering up your case. There is currently a limited range of these power supplies available, but I'm sure that more manufacturers will actually be releasing updated models in the near future, as of course, they are gonna be the standard going forward. You can browse existing options from Asus and Thermaltake on the Overclockers website. And if you do want to learn more about ATX 3.0, check out the Overclockers blog. On the 10th of October, the B650E and B650 motherboards were released, which is somewhat surprising, but certainly welcome, as you do normally have to wait a while for more budget-friendly motherboards on a brand new platform. The existing X670 and X670E are made for enthusiasts looking to push every bit of performance out of their hardware, and they do certainly have the price tag to go with it, with higher-end models emptying wallets at over £900. The B650 series was created as a more accessible platform for mainstream gamers and creators, and you can pick one up from just over £200. There's the option to choose from the mid-range B650E with support for DDR5 memory, PCIe Gen 5 NVMe storage, and enhanced overclocking capabilities. Or the standard B650, which are the entry point to the AM5 platform, but they do offer ideal performance for gaming with DDR5 support, PCIe 5.0 support for storage, and some overclocking capabilities. There is of course a huge range of different motherboards currently available to order on our website. Unfortunately, I don't actually have one to show you right now because they are all on pre-order, but at least you can see all of the different models that are available, compare the features and pricing from the different manufacturers, and also join the waiting list for when stock finally does arrive. Don't forget, like I mentioned, you will also need DDR5 memory for AM5, which is also listed on our website with new SKUs and higher clock speeds arriving all the time. Our final hardware story this week is also about AM5, and it's that you can now order an AMD Ryzen 7000 powered overclocked, tuned, and water-cooled pre-built PC. These are of course the high-end 8-pack systems and the Ryzen 9 7950X CPU has been tweaked for maximum performance no matter the workload, with OC switch enabled and PBO2 tuned to 5.9GHz or 5.2GHz all-core clock speeds. The memory has also been upgraded with 32GB of DDR5 tuned to 6000MHz and paired with an overclocked RTX 3090 or 6900 XT GPU depending on your choice of system. 
There will of course also be next gen GPU options available when those vendors start producing the water cooling blocks. My personal favorite is the eight pack frame rate as the color scheme is fully customizable and of course it's wall mounted which looks awesome. There's also the option of the Hypercube Mark II, which is the ultimate gaming and streaming PC. Finally, if your budget doesn't quite stretch to an 8-pack PC, there's also the more affordable Empath, which is built in the compact Liani 011 Dynamic Mini with a Ryzen 7 7700X and your choice of select GPUs. I'm going to drop links below if you want to check them out on the Overclockers website for yourself. Thanks for watching this week's episode of BIOS Update. Obviously, we've been very busy with all those RTX 4090s launching, so make sure to go and check out our couple of other videos. Give this video a big thumbs up, hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future launches, and I'll catch you again in the next one.